I'm going to be making a video on cleaning coins with E-Zest coin cleaner. Now, I've seen online and I've read that this is probably the number one or one of the best coin cleaners you could use. And you see here, it says instantly removes tarnish and finger marks from uncirculated improved coins. Special formula keeps coins bright longer after cleaning. Invaluable to the numismatist. I can never pronounce that word. All right, so here we have a 19... 24 piece dollar. Uh, it's a Philadelphia mint. This is a 1922 piece dollar. Kind of see how dirty it looks. Normally I wouldn't clean these, but um, fortunately, fortunately my grandfather passed away and he left me about 16 of these in a roll from the Cleveland mint. So it's a very old roll, hadn't been touched. So I'm never going to sell these coins or anything. I'll probably give a few of them to my brothers. So I'm, I'm, never, I'm not worried about resale value as I'm going to keep them in the family for a long time. So that's why I kind of want to clean one of these. I cleaned a 1922. It was dirtier than both of these uh, about a, five days ago with this. And it turned out really nice actually. It got off all this dirt and tarnish and everything. Hey right, guys, so this is what the EZS cleaner looks like. It's a blue chemical. kind of has a funny smell to it. You want to touch it, get it on your skin. Probably should wear some sort of gloves, but... I haven't been, I'm not too worried about it, but you probably should. Now, here's the coin. See that? Touch it on the sides. It's actually really nice condition, but like I said, I'm never going to spend it or sell it or anything, you know, so I'm just going to stay in the family. So here we go. What you want to do, I'm probably going to dip it for about six seconds. I'm going to use a pair of tongs. And the place I ordered the EZS from, they actually didn't give me any tongs they were supposed to so I have you know a pair of food tongs and I haven't been counting but that's generally about long enough it'll rinse it off with the sink and uh, you'll be able to see what it looks like you take it rinse it off a little bit yeah you could use distilled water but I didn't and I'm not so I'll be just fine I'm not too worried. So, and uh, on the container, I believe it said, or someone have told me who I've heard, you can um, you can keep doing this over and over. The thing is, you don't want to put it in for maybe more than like eight or nine seconds. And I never have yet. I've usually done about maybe six, seven seconds. And you could rinse it off and then do repeat the process. Now, I don't know how many times you should repeat peed it but I've done it like four or five times to some other coins not to any piece dollars or Morgan dollars but I don't think it hurts it all right so this is what it looks like and I'm gonna put it through one or two more times and you can kind of see it took some of the tarnish off it looks real nice it looks a little bit better so far so, we'll keep going. Alright, my last video cut out on me. It didn't save. So, I put it in for a second time, and it looks really, really nice. I'm going to flip it over. You can see. And see the difference of everything. Took a lot of that tarnish off. A lot of that bad coloring. So, I think it looks really good now. And I think a pretty important piece to notice is with this cleaner... See, as I swirl it, you can still see that nice original shine or luster to it. And with original toned or original coins, these little coins, you can kind of see that spin going clockwise a little bit, which means it looks like it hasn't been cleaned. Um, or that's at least one indication that it hasn't been cleaned is when you can kind of rotate it and you see that spin. And it still does that. Other coins or cleaners... When you, uh, when you clean them, it'll kind of take that away from it. When you Maybe with soap and water or acetone. or Maybe if I put this in here for longer than 10 or 15 seconds, then um, it won't do that. But I'm not going to try to wait to find out. So I'm going to put it back in here. I like these containers a lot. I got from a store called Hobby Lobby. I don't know. 
I got it in North Carolina, um, where I'm stationed, and I think it's a great shop. They got a lot of coin supplies there, so I like these these a lot because they don't rattle, and they're really easy to open. I have this other these Morgan dollars that came in these you know those tight cases, and it still rattles a little bit. And it's just so hard to open. I struggle with it. But these are nice. They're easy to open. I like these cases. And I got my tongs. And I like to wipe off the tongs from the water from the sink. That way I'm not adding any water to the Ezest formula. I don't know if it'll mess it up or over time if I do that, if it'll mess it up. So I think that's probably a good thing to, to do. So then one, two, three, four, five six shake it off a little bit we'll turn on the sink and rinse it off a little bit and then you can smell that it smells pretty nasty all right rinse off just a little more for us holding it should be good I'll wipe it off real quick oops don't want to wipe too hard not trying to scratch it it's just a paper towel but I don't think you should scratch it too much. It's already starting to look a little bit better. You know. For its first wash. We'll call it. We'll set that down. 